Welcome to Go Market Update and Charts of the Day for today, the 12th of December 2023. Mike Smith, Cena, Anderson, Go Marcus to lead you around what's happening today as we approach the midpoint of the Asian session. Let's look at the headlines. US equities edged higher again overnight, closing in on all time highs on the major indices. The NASDAQ did close higher, but big tech underperformed. We saw drops in some of the big tech names, such as Apple and Microsoft and Amazon. We have the CPI number out of the US tonight. Of course, the Feds begin their meeting uh, to decide their interest rate decision, and that will be released tomorrow. So obviously, that's the major focus for this week. Uh, US futures are just above flat in Asian trading. Asian markets are following that lead from Wall Street. ASX is trading about half a percent to the upside. The banks do particularly well today. And European futures are pointing to a positive open. The VIX is testing September lows. And if we move into the FX market, the US dollar index is just above neutral in a choppy session yesterday, still trading around the 200 EMA. Be interesting to see where that goes to. Slightly weaker in Asia this morning. We saw gold drop through that critical 2000 level and its three week lows. And copper was soft and retesting the 200 EMA to the downside. Though both gold and copper are slightly up in Asia, all continues to bounce, albeit a little bit off five month lows. Bitcoin pulled back from 18 month highs with a 7% slide and it's trading near 40,000 again. It'd be interesting to see if that continues. It has had a major run up and so some retracement is not surprising. Of course, that US CPI number is the headline out today. But we have got UK jobs and Eurozone economic sentiment due later. And of course, the Fed rate decision statement tomorrow likely to influence sentiment into Christmas. A couple of charts are quite all right. We're seeing some yen strength today in the early part of the Asian session. You can see the Aussie yen on a 30 minute chart. After really being weak overnight, the yen is now gaining a little strength. We see the Aussie dollar selling off a little bit. We can see that against most yen, most yen crosses. That 95.73 pivot looks important on the Aussie yen. Uh, a breach of that may push us back down to retest this sort of 95.30 level. So possibly around about a 45 pip move on the cards there if we've got some selling pressure coming in. But at this stage, this last candle looks as though it's holding on there. So the next hour or so will be critical. We've talked about blocking several times and you can see it's still looking strong. I had a little pause over the last couple of days, but now we're getting some buying coming back in. It's at 105. That's over the next key level, which we put it around about 104. And so I'll move up to test 115 and possibly even 120 in the medium term is very much on the cards at this stage, it looks like. Trade safe and see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.